हेलो एवरीवन आई एम कपिल भारद्वाज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू वन अदर एपिसोड ऑफ आई एम डेटा ट्रेन सीरीज हेयर वी डू कन्वर्सेशन विद आर एल्यूमिनाइज हु हैव रिसेंटली डन आर डेटा साइंस कोर्स सो टुडे वी हैव इन आर स्टूडियो मिस्टर राहुल विनायक एंड ही इज वन ऑफ आर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम रिसेंट डेटा साइंस बैच एंड हैज बीन प्लेस्ड सक्सेसफुली थैंक यू हाय राहुल वेलकम टू आवर YouTube चैनल कैन यू प्लीज गिव अस अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू आवर ऑडियंस सो आई एम राहुल I have experience about eight, eight years into data analytics uh, in data science field. Okay. I started my career in 2014 with one of the largest service providers in India. It's an IT company, and over there I got introduced to this world of, of analytics. So when I started my career, it was a FMCG analytics that I'm, I was doing that time, and now I'm working in a core bank. So what was that thing that instigated? Uh, your inclination towards data science that yes this is this is the domain i want um, i want to get into uh so initially when it started when i started my career it was a bit of a luck i joined the first organization as a fresher like everybody at that time we were not given an opportunity uh, to choose the project that we want to be a part of correct so i landed up in this project and over a course of time about 6 7 8 months i realized that this is a bit interesting mm. so there are numbers that are there in the system okay. my job is to figure out what kind of story they are, that they are telling you have to make a sense out of them. yeah just to make out a sense of uh, out of those numbers right. and it was a bit of problem solving also right. and i had to use a lot of skills uh-huh. you know improve my communication my the way i deal with the project my time management all those things so over a period of time i realized okay this is something that i can you know work in long term correct so uh I, I'm sure, like you, though it's you uh, know it's it's been I think uh, quite a long back you've given the interviews in actual, but then uh, during our course you must have gone through a lot of mock interviews, which is an integral part of our course curriculum. So how how was that? Like, do you think actually those mock interviews helped you when you were actually facing the real world and the real interview interviews? Definitely, uh, I think the kind of domain that we are part of uh, mock interview they kind of tell you the kind of skill level that you currently hold correct so that that is a real time uh, you know evaluation about your skills you can test your waters yeah i yeah. exactly yeah. so i could test my waters that what exactly i know what i do not know correct. so correct. after giving every interview i could go back home correct. and then figure out that okay this is what is missing i need to work upon these things other things i'm pretty sorted so i just need to brush that up so those that's why mock interviews they are very important correct And and since you know, I, I recall that you are from uh, non-tech background. You are from BBA, right? Background, right? Right. So, what advice you will give to our like you know upcoming uh, you know people and uh, the newer generation, like you know freshers probably mm. uh, who are from non-tech background, they are seeking a career in data science field. So, I think like you are the best person because coming from BBA and now working uh, into core analytics. So, I think that's that's a been some journey. definitely it is not easy uh, but i think if uh, you kind of understand if you understand that apart from just running up few queries or writing up basic programs apart from that also there is something inside those numbers correct right so they kind of tell you how the real world is operating also correct. it could be into bits and like zeros and one binary but when you commonly uh, like everything comes together it kind of tells a story so if you have that aspiration that is a kind of thing i want to learn correct and apart from that being very consistent about it mm-hmm. uh being regularly involved in uh, in that process mm-hmm. upskilling yourself and just sticking to it i think with over a period of time uh you will learn and it is something which is very doable it is not rocket science it is just another language that anybody can learn and does it involve a lot of coding uh not a lot of coding but uh but the coding is definitely there you do not have to be a developer to like that is a different field altogether but being an being a analyst is something else uh with if you about 60 70% on your coding and you have a better understanding how the domain is function like working in the back end correct you will be able to figure out like uh, okay this is i can go through this Uh, other things we can always learn there is google so many platforms you are stuck you can ask for help absolutely. there is there is no limit to that absolutely and uh, one very obvious question i think like uh, all of our audience uh, you know definitely seeking the answer to this that you know you know these days data science institutes are mushrooming up like anything right you know every you know uh, every center 
uh, you know, uh, uh, every city center probably you go to every city you go to, you will find a lot of institutes coming in online. Hundreds of institutes are there. And uh, I think you must have done your own research before, you know, closing up on data train. So what made you choose and finalize that? Yes, this is the one I want to get put in my, my money, my time. And this is the institute I, I'll choose for myself. I think honestly, it was a lot to do about uh, like when I researched a bit about teachers. So they are uh, they are themselves data scientists. Uh, so when you go through the classes, you understand like the way they explain it to you. Uh, you understand, OK, this is not something that it's oh, if you're only a technical person, you can understand. Correct. It's a very layman term interaction that happens. Mm -hmm. So that is there i figured out there's a good certification that i would be getting mm -hmm. a lot of work would be there but the reward will be very nice mm -hmm. the placements are there uh, mock interviews mm -hmm. uh, a lot of support throughout the clock mm -hmm. uh, your chat supports mm -hmm. your emails whatever way you want to help wherever you are stuck so those kind of platforms they were there so that is why i thought okay i should go ahead with this mm -hmm. and uh, that's why i made my decision okay great great and uh, the you know, again, uh, it's coming on up to my mind. So, all together, like you know, you've done your course, you're placed, you're doing a job, doing good in your career. But then, overall, how will you rate your journey with Data Train as an alumni? I think it was very nice. Uh, I was, for me, the thing was that I was very consistent uh, throughout. By that, when I was doing this course, I was very consistent. It is not that I want. I was investing five hours every day. I was, there were days when I was only doing 15, 20 minutes mm -hmm. and there were days I was doing 22 hours also. Mm -hmm. I missed a couple of classes also, but I, because it is there in videos, Correct. you can always go back to it and then, you know, rewind and play it. Correct. So my thing was that I was very consistent and because of that, I think that it was very rewarding for me. I was able to benefit from the options that were there. Um, so. Out of 10, I think, uh, had I given a bit more effort, I would have given myself 10 on 10. <laughs> but right now, I think I 7, 8 was, it is pretty good for some for a place where you do not have to attend every day. Yeah. And yeah. you can do it like a self-paced mode also. Mm -hmm. But just be consistent. I think yeah, for our audience, I'll say uh, being consistent is the key. That, uh, you know, doesn't matter you what background you're coming from. But if you've have, have taken a decision, you have to be consistent and... Uh, go for that decision and uh, make it right. So again, uh, I think, uh, you know, well said and uh, well done. And thank you uh, for being here today. And uh, I hope you do you know, uh, good again in your career and reach newer heights. And thank you for uh, sharing all your experiences with us. And uh, certainly obliged, data is obliged to have you. Thank you. Today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Rahul, uh, what uh, message you would like to give to our you know audience and uh, the people who are seeking a career in data science domain so my message to anybody who is aspiring to be a part of data science domain is that you should take it as learning a new skill it could be anything you remember how you started riding a bicycle swimming or playing guitar initially it is a bit difficult there are a lot of ups and downs in the journey but eventually once you get the grasp of it, of it and you are consistent and you are doing it very regularly you, things will be able, you will be able to figure out things on your own you, there are a lot of mistakes that you will make and you should take that into like take them uh, positively and start to learn from it and do not lose hope just this is a very nice field to be a part of and to have a good corporate job and i guess it's a well paying too it is <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you Okay, so that's all for today, folks. And uh, all I can say is keep learning and keep growing.